In a recent interview with Skydance Media CEO David Ellison at South by Southwest, Collider's own Steve Weintraub was discussing Ellison's latest movie, Life, when the conversation turned to the sixth entry in the Mission Impossible franchise. Ellison said that filming on the sequel begins on April 10th and will be shooting in Paris, London, and New Zealand. When asked what kind of stunt they had planned as the centerpiece this time around, Ellison revealed that Tom Cruise has already been training since Rogue Nation came out. What Tom is doing in this movie, I believe, will top anything that's come before. It is absolutely unbelievable. He's been training for a year. It is going to be, I believe, the most impressive and unbelievable thing that Tom Cruise has done in a movie, and he has been working on it since right after Rogue Nation came out. It's going to be mind-blowing. Schnapp, do you buy or sell that Tom Cruise has it in him to top his plane stunt from Rogue Nation in the next Mission Impossible movie? Uh, it's morphin' time. <laughs> <laughs> Says Buffalo Bill. Um... Yeah, I buy it. You know what? I, I buy the mummy thing. We were talking about that. Like, it seems yeah. like every single movie, he's got some really cool thing, some cool stunt that's going on. Like, in the mummy, he's like in a zero G plane flipping around. How, how, how many weeks did that take? But I don't know. I mean, if he's going to beat hanging off a plane, taking off, and if he, he's going to beat that Dubai sequence, which I remember seeing in IMAX, my stomach dropped like literally oh, gosh, four or yeah. five mm -hmm. times. It's so incredibly <laughs> shot. I mean, the guy's got some serious gravitas. The guy's got some balls of steel. Whatever you want to call it, it's like he pushes himself to the limit. I think he's a great actor as well. So I love these Mission Impossible movies. I Christian. Mean, oh. Yeah, I, I'm done. Uh, yeah, I buy it. I talked about it yesterday in the, the news story that we did. And I think that um, it, it, the guy's trying to, he's, he's Jackie Channing it at 55 years right. old or 56, whatever he is. He's a maniac. Uh, but I think that he is going to want to top this thing because even when you heard about the stuff that he did in Dubai and the stuff that he did on the plane, he's doing it because he feels, and, and I legit buy this when he says this, that he's doing it because he feels that the audience that's paying money for the ticket deserves a show and mm -hmm. that he wants to do this. And, he, and I think he's a, you know, he's a thrill seeker. He is. And you see this is fun for him to do, and it's now become like a gimmick. Um, for the Mission Impossible movies. So I think that as long as he can do it, he will do it. And I think we're all going to be like, stop doing that soon because you will die. Right. Where were mm -hmm. you, Perry? Well, I don't want that to happen, but I'm still going to buy this story. I've told this before. I went to the, the Rogue Nation premiere last year. Was it last year or the year before? Whenever, whatever summer that was. And... I had never seen Tom Cruise in person, and just seeing him work the photo line, the fans that were there going around and signing and taking pictures and then doing the red carpet and everything, that guy was out there in like 110 degree weather for like four or five hours. And then he went in and did the premiere and introduced it. And it was just one of the first times where I could feel like the passion, the passion radiating off of him. And I looked at him, I'm just like, I trust you. I trust that when you sign on for a movie, you are gonna care and you're gonna give it, as all, give it your all. So when stuff like this breaks, that he's gonna do an even bigger stunt, I believe it. And I also believe that he's going to give it his all and it will, it will top it, visually everything. He is so freaking incredible. The only thing that has me curious is that uh, Christopher McQuarrie took to Twitter to point out that no, it's a, it's a sequence, it's not a stunt. So, you know, but just so was the plane scene. So, the plane yeah, scene was also a sequence. I guess to a yeah. point. I yeah. just wonder if it's maybe... It's all a stunt if you think it, about it. Yeah. it. Well, it really is. I mean, it's, you know, we're, we're arguing words here, but I just wonder if maybe that's a hint of something being, you know, a little more significant, especially in terms of sh of screen time, and maybe just something that is a little more involved with choreography rather than just hanging off the side of a plane. So oh, I can't yeah. wait. If they're going to top what they did in the previous films, I can't wait to see what it is. I was going to say is like remember he trained for you know months and months to learn how to hold his breath for yeah. like two and a half minutes to do that sequence yeah. in Mission Impossible, yeah. which is you know that's that's really tough and that's an entire sequence. So that's what I think Macquarie is saying is like yeah, it's a big thing that he's been training for, but it's it's going to be like. A, a visual crowd pleaser. It won't be just like hanging off a plane. I think it's going to be bigger than that. But so. I, I, I buy this. I think he's he is trying to top everything he's done before. Let's not say what he's doing is Jackie Chan. The no, no, no. Jackie what, Chan would throw no. himself through plate glass no, no, no. windows. What I mean, what I mean and, oh, by right. is, but you but you're putting your body at risk. And, he, and Jackie Chan started doing it in his 30s. Now, what Tom Cruise is doing at 55 years old is he's putting his body at risk with these stunts that he does not have to do. No, he does and not. That's kind of where I was going with that. Obviously, Jackie Chan was doing this a lot differently yeah. a lot, every single movie. I'm just saying for the amount of stuff, the way that the dedication and the passion that Jackie Chan had, 
I, is not very far off from what Tom like, Cruise has for this movie. I would not have done what Tom Cruise did. I would not have strapped myself onto the side of a plane. I couldn't I, do it. I mean, that, that they balls did a of really steel. cool VR stunt last year in like Bryant Park in Manhattan where they had you put VR goggles on and they had a side of a plane and you held onto the side of the plane and they like blew wind in your face and they lifted your feet up and you were watching and you could see like his point of view. It's not the same as actually hanging off the side of a plane, but it was pretty damn cool. 